Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a very exciting video for you today. I have given my desk a makeover. I've lived in New York City now for over a year. This is my second apartment. My first apartment, it was a smaller desk space, so I wasn't super committed to making it anything extraordinary or crazy. I just brought a lot of what I was using in the past in college to that apartment to put together that desk space. I recently had the time as well as the resources to put to this desk space and really make it something that I could come to and feel inspired at, mature the space and make it very minimal but aesthetically pleasing as well. As I've mentioned before, I am a grad student so I'm always on a budget. So I tried to keep this as budget friendly as possible and really just purchase things that I thought were really gonna contribute to the space and be well worth the money. Before I dive too much into this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, as well as hit that subscribe button. We are growing every day here. I'm so excited for this little community we have, so continue to hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it if you stuck around. And without further ado, let's just get into the video. I'm gonna begin at the left side of my desk, which is where I have this three cube organizer thing. I've had this since college, but this space I've spent some time working on. I bought these storage baskets, as you can see, to hold all like toiletries and any spare products I have. And this is kind of like the toiletry area, if you will. But this top space was what really needed some assistance. I had this last thing that held all these cords. It always looked like a mess. To combat this issue, I ordered this organizer that came with three drawers and I'm able to fit all of my electronic cords in there and random technology thing so it just looks much more organized and I just kind of reduced the amount of books and files in the space so it looked minimalistic and not stressful because when I looked at that space it really stressed me out and then additionally I wanted to take more things off of this top area I felt like it was just overcrowded so I really wanted to keep it minimal before I redid the desk area it had my lamp on it through like a little succulent on there and a candle just to kind of make it look cute but I didn't really like the look of it anymore so I wanted to get a bottle shaped vase and put this artificial eucalyptus in it however I was just realizing in my research that these vases were very expensive and I could have just easily paint something and make one myself so I actually just created a vase out of a wine bottle that I had I ran the label under warm water so I was able to easily remove it I also used some like I think it's like goo gone or something like that and it gets like sticky adhesive things off of surfaces so that was really helpful it came off super easily and then I just took some white acrylic paint and I did a couple layers of paint on the bottle I ordered the artificial eucalyptus and just stuck it in there and I absolutely love the way it turned out it was such an easy DIY and then additionally I always have hand sanitizer on my desk this was even before COVID I always just like having it out and ready to go the problem is you know hand sanitizer bottles that you just buy from the store are just not cute so I thought I could really add to the space if I just bought a cute soap dispenser and then just kept putting hand sanitizer in it as I needed. So I bought this one from Target. I think it was like 12 bucks. So I mean, it was a little more expensive than I'd like, but I think it's really cute. And I also can see myself continuing to use it later on down the road, whether it be for soap or more hand sanitizer. But I'm in love with how this space looks now. It's so minimal and it's so peaceful to kind of look at and just have the eucalyptus over there. So I'm really happy with the way this area turned out. Okay, next up is the desk surface itself. So this desk is one I brought from my childhood home when I first moved to the city. I used it in my college houses as well. So she's been there through thick and thin. It was originally a dark wood color, but I wanted all of my furniture to be white when I first moved to the city in my first apartment. So while I was home before I moved, I painted it white, but it is old and it has been moved around a lot. So there are some paint marks and you can start to see the wood showing up underneath. So instead of repainting the whole desk, painting anything in a small apartment, just a big project, I just thought an easier way to do this would just be to buy some adhesive contact paper. So I found this roll on Amazon. I believe it was like $6 or something. So super inexpensive. 
with I got a white wood pattern put my lamp over to the right and left my pencil case to the left I've had that pencil case forever it's from Target from years and years and years ago I love the gold it sticks with my theme so now the desk doesn't have like anything on top of it all that will really live there is my pencil holder my desk lamp as well as my laptop and that's how I wanted it to be very minimal not cluttered at all and now for the focal point of the desk this is the area that needed the most work and that I was super eager to adjust and make more mature and aesthetically pleasing. Before doing this little makeover, I just had a hodgepodge of things up there, all stuff that I brought with me really from college. So it was in my first apartment when I moved to the city and I brought it with me to the second one. I've had this whiteboard calendar for years and I really like having it on the wall right above my desk so I can literally just look up from my computer or whatever I'm doing and just see what I'm doing like that month. So I knew I wanted to keep the calendar kind of right there in a spot like that. Shout out to my roommate, Kim. She's the one who had the ideas to get this five piece shelf set from Target. It was only like $40, so I think it's a pretty good deal. I bought this paper calendar from Target. I believe it was $8. I also just added a bunch of little decor that I already had, and I also purchased some other things. I had two Polaroid pictures that I thought were really cute, so I went ahead and purchased Polaroid frames on Amazon. They were about 15 or 16 $16. So I put those on one of the smaller shelves. I also bought another artificial plant to put up there. I chose to do a white vase one because most of the artificial plants in my room have white vases. I also bought a really inexpensive canvas and I just painted with some acrylic paint we had lying around. I just painted this little design. The last thing I bought for these shelves is this room spray from Target. It's the Opal brand. And honestly, the bottle I just thought was really cute. I believe it was $8, but I figured if it was right there, I would spray it in my room. Room. It smells delicious. All in all, I'm really pleased with how these shelves turned out. I think they look really cute. I think they are minimal, but aesthetically pleasing. It doesn't stress me out looking at it. It makes me feel mature, like an adult. Last in this area, I was struggling with lighting over here. So I've had this lamp since I moved into this apartment. I bought this lamp for this desk and it does have a dimmer. It's really great. I really like it. I was toying around with buying a new lamp, but honestly, I just couldn't find one that I really liked. When I was in Target one day, I found these puck lights. I believe that's what they're called. It came in a pack of three for $25 and it also has a remote control, which is kind of cool. Basically, these are just battery operated lights that I put under the first shelf. And this is just going to offer additional lighting. I knew if I bought another lamp, it probably wasn't going to add more light. So by keeping my old lamp and then adding these lights, I think I've just added plenty more light and it's going to be really helpful in the nighttime and just kind of setting the vibe over at my desk area to feel peaceful peaceful and zen. And that is the entire desk makeover, you guys. I am really, really happy with how this turned out. I definitely needed the motivation. Everything I got for this desk space either came from Target or Amazon. I've linked everything down below for you guys if you want to check it out. I hope you enjoyed this video and it inspired you to maybe give your desk area a little facelift. It doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't have to be crazy. There are innovative ways to do it. And I definitely recommend for anyone lacking some motivation, and looking for that spark again. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys being here and I will see you in my next video.